What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you what came in the mail. Yeah, let's go. What's up guys? It's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for that YouTube algorithm. It's going to help me out a lot. I appreciate it. And comment down below with your thoughts on this video. Yeah. And don't forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe like the videos and comment on the videos and that'll enter you so guys before we get into this video i just wanted to let you guys know uh i wear my jerseys because i'm a bears fan and it's football season so that's why i wear my jerseys in the videos for now uh, i have received a little bit of constructive criticism but it's no big deal anyways I just wanted to bring that up to you guys and also my daughter's birthday is coming up she's gonna be turning one on October 21st so if you guys can do me a favor just drop a comment down below wishing her happy birthday and uh, you know since you know dad's got jerseys had to get had to get her a little Khalil Mack you know so yeah so again guys you know we're gonna be rocking these on Sundays so you know daddy daughter time right there so anyways guys uh, yeah I'd really appreciate that a lot if you can just wish her a happy birthday down in the comments below yeah but all right let's go ahead and go so uh, I know I said like if you guys keep up with my channel I know I said I'm done with applications and all this stuff but uh, I lied <laughs> uh, yeah and so I just I couldn't help myself normally again it's not normal practice of me I haven't applied for a card since probably July well two cards I applied for in July and I applied for them on the same exact day and this is the same scenario I applied for uh, two cards on the exact same day I got approved for both one of them came in because it was expedited. The other one was not. Um, they weren't able to do it. And I'm not going to reveal what card that was. Actually, I won't reveal it at all in this video. But uh, I am going to get into why I applied for this card. And uh, yeah. So as you guys know, got approved, obviously. And uh, let's go ahead and... It's an Amex card, right? Now, you're probably wondering what card it is. But I'm just going to tell you guys, it was, well, it is the Charles Schwab investor card. Okay. So, and it's by American Express. And I applied for this card because uh, I thought it had a decent sign up bonus. I know it is only a cashback card, but I'd like to, you know, throw a, a few extra dollars towards, towards investments. And so this card's going to help me uh, do that. So this is kind of like a, unpackaging unboxing whatever you want to call it and I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal the card the thing is is that it does have the numbers on the front and the back so I need to take off the sticker so you guys can see it and uh, yeah so this is what the card looks like nothing too crazy right again like I said it has the numbers on the front uh, it is a decent looking card like uh, just having something that says Charles Schwab on it is nice now most people are so infatuated with the platinum card but in reality uh, I don't see that as a you know reasonable option for the majority of people right because a lot of people like to throw the idea to apply for the Charles Schwab Platinum American Express card so that way you can get $500 um, which is basically the 50,000 point sign up bonus and use that towards investing but you also are going to have to pay a $550 annual fee and if you're not a frequent traveler like if you don't fly that often then there's, it's really pointless to get the card at that specific point in time so I always suggest to get the Charles Schwab investment investor card if you do have a relationship with Charles Schwab uh, you have to apply for this card through your 
uh, login account, right? And so they have to send, you know, you have to go through some measures just to be able to get to the application, but uh, it's worth it in my opinion. So this card comes with no annual fee and it's a 1.5% cash back card that gets directly deposited into your brokerage account right now the bonus for this card until november 16th i believe is 200 dollars cash back plus whatever you end up getting back for your 2000 and spend um, to get that bonus now the 2000 is over the course of three months so you have three months to hit that 2000 uh, minimum spend to get that 200 dollars uh, a lot of people don't like it um, they think it's too much to, you know, have to spend in, over the course of three months, but I'm literally going to hit that sign up bonus, you know, by the end of this month. It's, you know, and like I said, I'm not saying go spend money that you're not going to spend already, right? Like there's no need to because you can cover your monthly expenses and be able to reach that without having to feel any type of pressure right and the benefits of getting this card is that you're going to get that two hundred dollars that's two hundred dollars you didn't have to put towards investing and you just you know that's free two hundred dollars why not you know so i think this is a great card to get um, and that's the reason why i got it now i did get another card um and i'm not going to mention it but it is a chase card and the reason why i applied for that card was because this particular card right here would have put me at 524 and i wouldn't have been eligible again until next year around this same time so um i didn't want to wait uh, just to be able to apply for this specific car that I'm speaking about that I got approved for and um, the approval process was pretty quick um, since I do have alerts on my credit profile like fraud alerts I wasn't approved in 30 seconds like most people are with the uh, American Express applications and um, so what I did was I just went to their uh, application status then I gave them a call and asked them, you know, hey, I would like to check the status on my application. And then they just went through some security measures to verify that it was, in fact, me who applied for the card. I had to give them, you know, like social security, just, you know, my address, everything like that. And it had to match, obviously, what was on my account. So, um, that day that I called, you know, they were able to verify and they pushed forward my application and I was approved on the spot just for calling and, you know, checking my application status. So surprisingly, though, I was not approved for very much. Uh, and that's odd because I do have, uh, you know, some pretty high limits on my cards. The amount I was approved for was $5,400, which is not bad. I mean, I don't necessarily need that much line of credit, but since it is a personal card, $5,400 extra is nice to have added to my uh, credit profile, right? That makes it look like I'm a good borrower and I'm a trustworthy borrower, right? The more accounts that I have that people are, uh, you know, extending me lines of credit, uh, that's that looks good on my credit report and that helps my credit score, you know, boost up. Now, this card did come with an introductory APR of 0% for 15 months now I'm not sure if that was I didn't I don't remember seeing that on the offer when I applied for the card but that's what was given to me here on the terms the cool thing too is that uh, if you have Apple wallet then it will show you guys right here on your Apple wallet so this is what the card looks like without exposing all of my information right so uh, that's a solid thing and um, yeah so it's I mean it's a nice looking card whatever but I'm really more looking forward towards um, you know, getting those cash back rewards uh, deposited directly into that brokerage account. So I feel like this will now be my most used uh, non bonus category spending card. So like I was saying in a previous video about the investor card, it's similar to a Capital One Quicksilver card. It's also similar to a Chase Freedom Unlimited and a Chase Inc Unlimited, which are 1.5% cash back earning cards. Now, I like this card, obviously, like I said, because it goes directly into your brokerage account and the investing wouldn't necessarily be for me it would be more towards um, just trying to put plan for the future you know my daughter she's gonna be turning one uh, on the 21st of October so that money that I spend on that card will mainly just go to you know uh, accounts that I open for her so uh, that's basically it so that's why I think this is a great card and I always think that it's never too late to get into it and it's a great card to get you know after 
after my introductory uh, APR rate expires, my APR after that will be 15%. So that's not too bad, but I never recommend paying interest. So always pay your balances off in full every single month. So that way you are not negating any rewards that you get, you know, in the future or just in general. Um, there's no point in giving the banks extra money uh, out of your own pocket. That'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you think about the Schwab Investor Card. I know I did a previous video on it, but hey, let me know. It's another one. It's unboxing. So let me know what you think about the look, whatever it is. Uh, would you consider getting it? Yeah. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person. Be safe. Be smart. And remember, credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.